Today we are working in the rural areas of Tauta in Mokhali city. We're working uh, in areas surrounding three informal settlements and we are assisting the, the community here with a major cleanup campaign. One of the problems we have in our country is that informal settlements and rural communities don't have weekly refuse collection. And the consequence of that is what you would see around you here, where we have widespread dumping by the community. And it's been, uh, I think, a considerable period of time since these dump sites were cleared. We're working with the city to, and with the provincial government to set up a sustainable program so that we clean up today and from here there is some process by which there's going to be re regular refuse removal. We're looking into the issue of, of putting skips here, um, but we're also looking at the issue of community education. And I've been discussing now with the mayor of Mukhali City that if you want to prevent this area becoming a dump site again, would the municipality consider coming and uh, grading it, making um, a playing field here, something of that nature? Because I think that, that you can see that in this community there are very few facilities and obviously there, there is this challenge with refuse removal. My concern about informal dumping is that these informal dump sites are what are feeding a very serious problem we have in our country of waste, particularly plastic waste and, and um, things like nappies and so on, getting into our water systems, uh, going into the wetlands and ultimately also going into our river systems. And from the rivers, the, this plastic is washing into our oceans. We have just returned from Nairobi in Kenya where we've signed an internationally legally binding treaty to prevent plastic pollution and in particular to prevent plastic from moving into our oceans. That means that we've got to be concerned about informal dumping across our country and we've got to be doing all in our power to help clean up these areas but also to establish sustainable waste removal solutions so that communities are not forced to dump informally. We can start from a level where the community can start protecting and maintaining their own spaces. Uh, this is done in terms of sustainability because we all deserve healthy environments and what one community does affects another community. Indeed the litter that happens in one area finds itself in the ocean thousands of kilometers away. So uh, a litter in one area affects the entire planet we could say. Thank you very much to the department for availing their resources and time. Thank you very much to Honourable Minister Creasy for also um, assisting with this initiative. And then thank you very much to the community for taking hands and we look forward to having a prosperous future that sustainably protects the environment for generations to come.